Do a lie. Do a lie. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Vengeance, the one for July. Yeah. So the the live engine. So let's kick Should off this vengeance. vengeance with some live water. I'm just gonna the code. Uh, oh yeah, there, there was no VIPs I back then. Before. Where's Chrome? <laughs> Where's that site? Gotta find the site. There's that site. There it is. <laughs> yeah, back then, back then there was no VIPs or anything like this in Jackbox games before. Yeah, it was first in, first, first in the bin. Hmm. All right. And this was actually one of the that support a drop in drop out at any time you can support it to a two player and if you left during the game and came back whatever or if you started in the middle of the game whatever all right i'm in all right it's still loading all right so one more i think who has any, yeah who wasn't in there nick So, how is the page loading? Well, if I swim, I'll be swimming. Oh, there we go, finally. The code is G E Y X. Gay X. <laughs> Gay sex. <laughs> Okay. And I think everyone's in. Let's go. All right then. Before we get started, don't forget. It's the Quick Flash announcer, I believe. Yep. It is Smithy. You're going to see seven crazy facts pulled from these fact categories. Cinderella's castle at Disney World has burned down twice due to lightning strikes. Use your device to pick whether you think the fact is true or a lie. Mm. I don't remember running about that. Okay. There you go. Wow, damn it. You get four points if you're a lie, and you get four points if you're the first one to get it right. I would have heard that by now. Damn it again. <laughs> the 17th and 18th century called condoms the English cape. That was too stupid even for me. That was true. <laughs> Alrighty. Mamas are young alpacas. I have no idea. Fuck. I got it backwards. In Latin, vagina means sheath or scabbard. What the hell? <laughs> I believe it. Ooh, it's true. <laughs> Only 10% of the Great Bowl of China is in China. Bowl. That's a load of bull. It's all in China. All the things in China. China is everywhere and China is everything. And its middle two names were Monty and Python. <laughs> and here's where everyone stands at the end of... Yay! Oh, it's tied. Boy. <laughs> Nicole Kidman. was a contestant on Where in the World is Carmen San Diego? Sounds like it. 
bullshit. And it was apparently bullshit. Okay. Before claiming he stole a chihuahua. I would have heard that by now. Mm. And I'm sucking now. The first condoms were made from earwax. <sighs> that sounds too gross to be I true. Mean, unless wax is a natural lubricant. There you go. Oh, That's an obvious. Ah, come on. believed consuming electric eels could bring eternal life. I have Floridian and I have no idea. Like, I know you did the found that you thing, but I don't know if you did eel first. And I got that right. No, he speaks humble. About 5,000 McDonald's employees graduate from Hamburger University every year. That's a lie. There's no such thing. Although I wish there was. What? Uh, Hamburger University is basically their McDonald's, the McDonald's training center. Oh my god, I can't yeah, believe they, I got that wrong. Uh, and I secure my victory. Again. All the facts will be about one category. That category is Hugo Chavez. Oh God. Hugo Chavez. Yeah, like he is a significant figure in her story. Yeah, he brought about the pink tide in that country. Bullshit. Bullshit. Oh. Has to be something of crazy about him. Sounds like something. <laughs> fuck. Come on. Chavez and Coke Zero from Venezuela. That's true. That's true. No, it's not. I'm gonna keep going to the square. No! Hugo Chavez outlawed Sudoku puzzles in 2008. Give me one. What's so bad about number puzzles? It's just crosswords with numbers. Come on, man. And you would be right. I'm following. You know, Chavez is called to have Halloween band in 2005. Uh, just... He sounds like a conservative Republican. No, uh, he's the exact opposite. He's some kind of wacko socialist type. No, this just seemed. This guy seems like a nut job, and I. He was. I will He's not be. Nut job and you know, asked Venezuelans to stop singing in the shower. I... He's a nut. He's a nut job begging for a blowjob. Whoa! That happened. Go How does the voice? I won. Yeah, forever you will you will forever be the the you will forever be the Jackbox master. Uh, should we go to the next portion of the stream? Perhaps. Sure. Sure. Alright. All right. I got quick before the game starts again. Woo! Alright. And so what's next? Uh, Tonyo versus Nick's. Tonyo versus Nick for the Uno title. 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Uno like I'll teach com. you. Unofreak.com. Just go to no. The... Just go to. Okay, Tonyo, just go to Unofreak.com, click join a game, and then, you, and then you'll see create a new game. I'm on Unofreak too. Like. Just click the link once Tony gives it to you. Do I go on join the game? Uh, you'll join the game once Tony posts the link in the Discord chat. You have to do is you'll see a link uh, below the screen, and then you just paste that in the Discord chat. Is it the red link at the bottom of the screen? Uh, no. Uh, you're supposed to click the link at the bottom. That's uh, what I did. At the... Just the... Come on. You. It... Um, are you P3526, uh, Nick Master? Yes, I am. All right. Let's play the game. 25, Uno. I thought it was 50. Okay. Yeah. I won't look at your screen. This is gonna be. I can already tell this is gonna be cutthroat, and I'm already, I'm already feeling it with my, my boots. Mm-hmm. Oh, boy. Mm. Oh, ah, that's <laughs> dirty, Nick. <laughs> what? What's dirty? I don't think that's a... Hmm. Remember, don't we use all your... Just like you find house rules for the stack, because I always play by the stacking rule. Yeah, don't, don't use all your, your good cards all at once. Yeah, if the long game is what's matter. You gotta focus on the bigger picture, or else you're gonna make your go yourself go fucking insane. I played Uno. I played Go Fish. Go Fish. Ha! 
same shit. Oh! Oh! Sorry. What? Uh. Can you see... Can you see... Fish? Oh, no fish? I want to buy boardwalk. Okay, but first you have to buy the Mushroom Kingdom. No uh, way, that's the wrong... That's, no, I was thinking about the YTP Monopoly. That should be a thing. Is there a create-your-own-board-game website? Um, actually... If, actually, 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 tell you, like, you know how there's Monopoly on the PS4 and the Switch and the Xbox? All those yeah. versions, if you buy a specific add-on, let you make your own boards. Whoa. I want to make a YTP board. You have to eat lots of spaghetti. Uh, Lose five dollars. Well, the only thing you can customize is the names of the properties and the stock images or structures, but and but you can't import any images. Ah. Uh. You change the names though. Huh, <clears throat> Nick's getting hammered now. Yeah, Nick is getting hammered. That's not looking good. And besides that, they also have they also have different they also have different DLC boards you can purchase. My favorite's the My Little Pony board. What? That's. I was speaking no of which, who knows? Mm. Maybe some. <laughs> oh yes! Oh, uh, yes! No. Oh! Oh! He got slammed. Yeah, Nick. <laughs> Nick's good at the cutthroat upper hand. Hmm? Nick, Nick can really get mean if he wants to. Uh, I like to see him take me on. I'm the fucking Uno King. <laughs> <laughs> How about we do that for SummerSlam? SummerSlam. Yeah. Me and my fucking mouth. I actually wanna I, I wanna do I wanna do the fifty card Uno challenge with all of us again for SummerSlam. Yeah, and we already did that for Raw and it was one of the longest episodes. Oh yeah. Like, what if we did? What if we had like a separate stream just for fifty card Uno and called it Royal Rumble? And yeah, and if we do do bon, if we do do bonus streams, we have to organize and pick from the games that aren't good enough to fit in Raw. Yeah, like the YRC Network specials are already for that. YRC Network specials are already there for that. Yeah. Speaking of YRC Network specials, the uh, first one's Feeding Frenzy 2. We're going to finish it. Yeah, I want to finish off. Yeah, so you're going to put the Peter arc on the on on the Classics channel, right? So like we can start from the the next part. Yeah. I mean, I could probably end up considering, like, if we end up pre-recording that special, I could probably just tack it on to the start. Yeah. Um, do any of the YRC channels need Monster Cat music? I need to know so I can work a licensing thing. We could get Crab Rave. Is Crab Rave a Monster Cat song? Yeah, the the biggest, you know, it's not the noise storm video that got the most views. It's the monster cat release one that got the more views. Believe it or not, probably probably because people in Monster Cat Gold can play that shit in the background and not get claimed. <laughs> mm, uh, it's funny that the song didn't get noticed until Monster Cat came out. <laughs> Yeah, Monster Cat is known for electronic music. I actually used a few of their dubstep tracks in my recent Spyro premiere, and no claims. I need to... Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. I can my see that. Favorite, my favorite track so far is my favorite track so far is one called Don't Forget Me. Another thing I was just yeah, the Feeding Frenzy one was one of my favorites to do, but boy, did it take a lot out of me. I was out of breath by the time I was done. I won. Whoa! Want a rematch? Sure. No, uh, where? So, yeah, wanna, let's rematch. Sure. So, Nick, so Nick claims the title. This one's just for, for now. Me. For now. Yeah, because, like... Yep. <laughs> Alright, first... Alright. If Nick wins again, he has the title. If Tonyo wins, it's on death. This will be... Reminds me of a time where... In my school, where we were all playing Uno just for fun at the end of the day, and then someone lost, one of the kids lost, and he tipped the entire table and got had to get carried out. Wow, that's an old reaction. Yeah, he was cussing at us really hard, and also. This is middle school or high school? This was middle school. some really violent kids at your middle school because it was split between violent kids and kids with special needs. Yeah, that's because back then they didn't have the proper training to deal with people like that. Nowadays, I've heard that the middle school I was at was fixed and the people were given proper training to deal with those ha 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 those difficult situations of kids rampaging through the hallways. Especially when they're very strong. Yeah, another thing is this like a lot of teachers had to pile on me when I was I was a big guy. And simply the fact that that I was able to be cured at all is saying something because deep down I'm a very nice guy. It's just sometimes I have I'm a nice guy with really strong emotions that I had to learn to suppress them. You know what? I had to, and YouTube helped me do that. Like, I love making those stuffed animal videos. The problem, mm. I'm, the problem I'm having right now is simply I don't think I really have the energy or mojo to make more stuffed animals. Plus, it's getting harder to make them. First, with my old computer, I could stick the SD card right into the computer. Now I have to go to my parents' old, slow, 4 gigabytes of RAM computer that barely works anymore and slowly put it on a flash drive, then put the flash drive in here. Editing software, and then you get, it's getting harder and harder, plus... Yeah, like you could just get an SD card reader. For yeah. USB. Yeah, and another thing is the simple fact that, like, most stuffed animal people, they're usually either kids or teenagers who still have, like, can be a little flexible with the things that they do. Being a 22-year-old man really does hinder things in terms of, like, how long you're able to sit in one place or how long are you able to keep going is just a simple fact that like that, that's the only edge Super Mario Logan has is he's I don't like a 21 22 year old man but the issue with him is he's got an entire team you, you can't you can't really beat that also he's got proper equipment and that's that's something I was always jealous of him for because I don't know a lot of people that would that would want or able to help me that weren't already busy. So that's the sad reality of what my videos might go through after my final episode of the season comes, which 
It's going to probably release in like two or so days. I'm going to make an update video explaining the future of the channel. It's just like I might have to plan an ending. Like, because I... Yeah, it's this is gonna be close. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> Good old top deck. Mm. Uh oh. Um, Nick. Mm. This is getting. Now it's starting to get spicy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Spicy. Oh, boy. Hey, Nick, wanna play? Come on. Come on, Nick. Wait, 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 what game? Oh, oh, it's Nick's turn. Alright. Oh. Oh. Oh, God. Oh. Okay, what happened? He takes the title. Oh, Nick took the title. Good job. You've owned the YRC and the Uno title. Oh, yeah. Woo! Oh. <laughs> Nick, you're now the YRC champion. Next game, push the button. Hosted by Tix. Okay. <laughs> Okay, okay, I'll screen share. I'll just, I'll, I'll just start this up. And by the way, don't, don't screen share your whole screen. Uh, go to application window and screen share the game. There's, there's a, there's a picture called stream Jackbox. Like, it's, 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 it's easy. Yeah, you can, you, you can easily just say stream Jackbox. Actually, Stream Jackbox, I go straight to the application window, but it streams it at 720p. So mm -hmm. if his data can handle it, be my guest. But, but fucking whatever. He can. Ah. All right. I'm so gonna... we're going to redeem ourselves from that terrible, god awful, yeah. terrible raw episode. Anyone remember that episode? Yeah. How do I? I don't care. Uh, just click on. Just click on your screen share. And then, and then you'll you should see something saying "Stream Jackbox Party Pack 6 after you opened it. Well, Lampage, you 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 know that was a terrible. How do game. I minimize? <sighs> just you don't minimize. You can just go full screen and go st and stream game before you you know. There's like also you can press the Windows button. You can press the Windows button too to like go back to your Discord and screen share. Oh, there we go. Screen stream the Jackbox Party 6. <laughs> Okay. Woo! All right. All right. It's push the button. That works. We're in good. Hey, Ampage. Ampage, you remember this? You remember this song? I want to play the game, but the internet won't let me. All right. You can just just escape. Uh, you can turn on the volume though. I don't remember half the songs I sing in my streams, honestly. Push the button. Oh, this game. I love this game. Well, we're gonna redeem ourselves and, like, and play it like, Know what we're doing. How's it going for you guys? Amazing. Um, exquisite. All right, Incredibly well. Is there tutorials on? Because Nick doesn't know how to play this game. 
Get some plays here. Alright. Alright. Hey, 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 Ah. Or me entering first, that worked too. Or me entering second. You should go on your phone. Six. I'm on my computer. Oh, oh, you're good, you're good, you're alright. I was uh, hey, It go. looked like everyone's in. Yes. Uh, I. Alright, okay, so one of us is the alien, and we have to hide it. And we, the rest of us have to figure out who the alien is. Don't tell anyone that you're the alien, because that's a way to... I like, asleep, but that's like, I thought it worth mentioning method. that I, your digital officer during emergencies, or Dottie, have detected an alien biorhythm on this ship. And just as I suspected, the aliens uploaded a virus, which is slowly deleting my program. I'm here to guide you through if you'd like. Perfect. Show it to Nick. Yeah. Yes. Yes. yes, Nick needs to know about this game. Play the tutorials. I'm initiating security protocol, yeah. Carpenter. Go back to the yeah. full screen. Which is a series of tests designed Sorry. to evaluate your humanity and reveal the aliens hiding amongst you. I have determined that two of you are secretly aliens. Look at your device and confirm your identity. Your device can tell you if you're a human or an alien, but not the identities of your fellow players. Unfortunately, aliens will know who their compatriots are, so you'll be at a bit of a disadvantage, humans. Okay. If you're an alien, don't tell them because you have to see. By my calculations, you will have 15 minutes before I cease to be, so I'd appreciate it if you could figure out who the aliens are and then push the button. I'm surprised on how well this is working. We'll be our first captain. It is. Hi. Oh, I have repurposed okay, the ship's quarters into unique testing areas. Wasn't cheap, I tell you that. Choose an available room and your desired participants. Alright, the opinion people. Pick two people whose opinions you want to test. Ugh. <laughs> Welcome Me. to the opinion hold, a place to hang out and let your opinions fly. Each participant will be presented with a bold statement. You will then provide your level of agreement or disagreement. Aliens, however, will be given a completely different statement. When the crew sees the full opinion, aliens may have to justify an outlandish position. Let's see what these players have to so say. If they're an alien, their we're answer might be pretty out there. Uh, and here's what humans saw. Huh. I love, love, love the Lion King. That depends on which one. Participants responded. Hey, it's the live action one. Do any of these answers seem suspicious? These seem... Or just start yelling at each other. Right now, it's pointless. Talk to each other um, and find the truth. But remember, two among you are aliens and will be lying. You both seem possible. Why am I the alien? Uh, you look like a gnome. He is a gnome. And you don't want. We don't want. The character model for randomized picks. <laughs> How do I know you're not the alien? You're the one that keeps going on. Okay, next captain, you're in charge. Alright, Six, you're up. Let's get a move on. Pick, Pick another room and test group. There's less than 14 minutes. Okay. okay. Come on, Six. Give me that. Alright. Deliberation deck. Who's deliberating? Okay. Oh, ho, 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 ho. arrivals! Welcome to the deliberation deck. Humans will be given a difficult decision and must choose which answer to them. I'm a great captain. Will see no dilemma and must choose their answers blindly. When the crew sees the full statement, aliens may have to selection or face suspicion. This is going great. Yeah. I you bet it's peculiar. I didn't think I could stream this well. No questions, and they have to well, I have. The human prompt oh, was. Right. 
You it's think freezing. your neighbor is a serial killer, but you need proof. What you should do is... Okay, what can we harp on? Now you have to decide who's an alien, or just make shareable life decisions. Uh, I'm why seeing... Why would you tell everyone? T-Deck, why would you tell everyone? And Nick said lay a trap, and T-Deck said tell everyone. Uh, there you go. What the hell? Why would you tell why would you everyone tell people? If, that he's a serial killer if you have no proof? <laughs> Yeah, that makes total sense. Hey everyone, if a player seems to be taking way too long to move on, you can tap the hurry up button to speed up the time. On the <laughs> uh oh, it seems I've underestimated the alien virus's capabilities. Aliens now have the ability to hack the prompts. When looking at their probe screen, an alien. She's can probing us. Human. And secretly give them the alien palm. So th to make things worse, I know. aliens can help other aliens by secretly giving them a human prompt. I hope you got all of that because there's no way I'm repeating it. Okay, next aliens chapter. Have the you're in to your human prompt, Ooh. And they also have the ability to fix human prompts. Alright, place next spot. Opinion hold. Who's a uh, another trip to the opinion okay. hold. Keep your eyes peeled for any out of character responses. Here is the human prompt. Wow. It's okay to tell a white lie. Anything odd? Useless. And don't forget about those alien hats. A smart alien can make someone look suspicious by flipping them. Yeah, totally useless. Can we move on, please? It's pretty much a secret project. Kind of thing about hedgehog. A real, a white lie would be saying that hedgehog stew is not amazing. Look at your device. I'm gonna mix some hedgehog stew. Take us to the extraction room. But I would recommend you only do this once you're confident in your today. Okay, next captain, you're in charge. Oh no. Let's go drawing. to drawing. Here it is. <laughs> oh. Ooh. <laughs> drawing. Welcome to the drawing quarters. You'll be draw. Draw the best you can because the alien virus will give our intruders a similar yet different prompt. When the drawings are revealed, cast suspicion on any you find to be a bit off. As time goes, right. some aliens out of prompts. You're welcome. If someone actually knows for sure who the two aliens are, they can push the button and then I'll stop the clock. Uh, we clock on the the screen and froze. If they're taking too long to draw, the hurry up button can help pick up. I it. guess no, because Six is using his computer to do the questions and drawings. Or. Yes. Yes. Humans were given this prompt. Draw an ancient civilization. And discuss. They have gotten a bad prompt. Or they need to yeah. What the fuck is that? <laughs> yeah. It's an ancient civilization. It's an alien. It's an ancient civilization. Like what? Like what civilization? What ancient civilization had a virus? A mu they're mushroom houses. And yeah, like mushroom. Like a pyramid or something. It's obviously the ancient Egyptians. <laughs> 
I thought it said alien civilization. Oh, and you're exposed. Oh, wait, you got something all wrong. <laughs> you got it all wrong. We I'm know who you are, Tex. Even so, we can't push the button until we know who both the aliens are. Yeah, you gotta be, you gotta believe me, but please don't, do not push the button! <laughs> the bioscanner is now I'm online. Free. If the team you send there passes a test, you'll be able to analyze any player and find out if they're an alien. Okay, next captain, you're in charge. Oh boy. Oh, Alright, who do you want to test? Come on, I'm not an alien. Yeah, right. Oh! <laughs> this is the bioscanner. Unfortunately, the virus has got this place pretty screwed up. Participants will see a set of alien glyphs on their device. The captain will only see three glyphs and must describe them out loud. When three glyphs are tapped, the captain can lock in. If the glyphs match, the test will pass. Uh, able to learn one player's look, secret identity. I'm not an alien. Do I look like all? Do I look like? This is what I don't like about the bias. I'm sending you the correct glyphs now. Do I sound like the O? Uh, uh, okay, so TJ has described the symbols we have to press. All right. There's um, you know the there's like a J and an L with two circles. There's okay. There's a there's there's, there's like a dude like roller skating. It's like a dude roller skating like with the like kind of like roller skating. Uh, roller skating, roller skating. What would that look like? Like you know how the Olympics, you know how they um, skate. Okay. And the skating competitions. You know that decent. Okay. What's the yeah? All right, third one. It looks like a, looks like a, it looks like Ish. a freaking, it looks like a, it looks like a, like a bug with like boxing gloves, like something with boxing gloves, like his hand, like arms raised, his hands raised and arms too. All right, I'm locked in. All right, what about you, Decent? You locked in? All right, I'm locked in. All right. The test has failed. What? What? Someone did it wrong. Oh, no scan for you. Okay, that was suspicious. Maybe test humans next time. Ooh. Uh, Ooh, someone, someone got it wrong. Them. That last one doesn't even look close. <laughs> oh, crap. Man! I... We're on the clock here, people, so let's keep it going. I'm... I'm... I'm going. Oh, yeah. I'm pressing the button. Uh oh. What? Welcome to the extraction room. I bypassed some subroutines to stop the timer. Do I look like the alien? Someone actually thanked me. I am not Since going to bang the robin. Isolate the two crew members you believe are aliens and press confirm. Since this is our first time here, you have two minutes to decide. No. You don't understand. Now the non-isolated member shall vote. If you all vote yes, and these players are aliens, then the humans and moi are safe. But if one of them is a human, then it's curtains for us all. Okay, time to vote. The vote has to be unanimous. If everyone votes no, we'll have to go back to the main cabin. You don't understand. No, you uh -oh. don't understand. They voted to eliminate you. Bye bye. Let's see how we did. This is all your. This is all your fault. Two humans. <laughs> oh, no, we utterly failed. We utterly failed. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> what? You know, what? I was the human and It's only been 45 minutes. Let's. It's only been 45 minutes. Let's play this again. Never has played again. Way to go! You let the boo win. You let the boo win. I never knew. I never knew. And Peach and Nick were the aliens. What the hell?
Ya. Yeah. <laughs> I swear. Can the humans win this one? Can they redeem themselves? Let's see. I'm now initiating security protocol Alpha Bravo Carrot. God, she is such a Karen. I have determined that two of you are secretly aliens. Please look at your device and confirm your identity. Your device can tell you if you're a human or an alien, but not the identities of your fellow players. By my calculations, you will have 15 minutes before I cease to be. So I'd appreciate it if you could figure out who the aliens are and then push the button. Push the button. Push the button. You will be our first captain. Lucky Steph. Choose an available room and your desired participants. The opinion holds. Whose opinion will be tested? Nick and I'm selected me. to give your opinion. Answer the question on your device. Oh. Here is the human prompt. Come on, Owen Starfire. Taxidermy. It's not creepy. And now I've been binge watching Home, the animated series, and I know exactly how this is gonna go. Do any of these answers seem suspicious? I mean, it's only creepy if you think about it, but if you just pay attention to the final results, it kind of makes sense. Oh, I mean, I can't agree with that. Oh. I don't even know what that is. Oh, oh that's when you. It's when an animal dies and then they We're stop on the clock it here, and then they play so a freaking going. Dog, uh, dog, dog mannequin or something. Yeah, it's like you have like uh, it's like you know those bears you see on the walls at people's houses. Those are taxidermy. Oh yeah. Next captain identified. Lucky you. Me. Okay, let's get a move right. on. Pick another right, decent, where we at? There's less than 14 minutes. Drawing borders. Who's drawing? Yeah. You have you entered the control. drawing quarters. On your Enough. And the prompt for humans was draw a wise old man. <laughs> Do any of these things? Mr. Cosby. Well, this is useless. They both look human Mr. Cosby. I want to have some lemonade because I'm so wise and in jail. <laughs> My picture's a guy that's 70 years old. That's a boomer for you. With the with the little little things with the wheels. We're on the clock here. Put a self-help book to help Homer. By Bill Cosby. Helping your getting to know your children by Bill Cosby. I'm taking it and it's What are we doing? You're gonna write me a we're gonna, we're gonna write me in a. Come on, write me a song. Oh, oh fuck! Write me a song. I'm writing. Uh, who's writing into the question? Fun fact about me: 
I once met Willie Nelson. Nice guy. Writing test initiated. Write an answer to the prompt on your device. <laughs> Humans received the following prompt. A celebrity I can't stand is... Seems suspicious. Build the name wrong. Oh no. Um I don't know. Leonardo DiCaprio just is just fucking kind of unconscious to me. Like fucking in the inception he was just kind of weird. You should have put Jay you should have put Jace Norman. Yeah, but I don't really know who that guy is. We're on the clock here. I mean, so let's keep it going. He doesn't want an Oscar. Like, there's a reason for that. Next right. captain, you're on the clock. Uh, please don't make draw. <laughs> Who's drawing? I think. I think. No. No. Time for some more art. I'm stuck at drawing on a phone. What they draw uh. could be quite revealing. Suck John. I can't believe this is happening two days before I retire. <laughs> Let's see the human prompt. Draw a nudist colony. Ugh. There's gotta be a clue. Get a dick hanging out. Uh, oh. uh, fuck you, got dicks! <laughs> it's a dude that's hanging out. What, anything new? Can you be neuter than that? I mean, well, that's something. I'm still a nude they had to censor it. Mine's still a nude they had to censor it, see? It's censored. Well, We're on the clock here, people, so let's keep it going. New captain selected. Oh boy. Oh. Um, let's go to. The deliberation deck. Oh boy. No. Why don't you get decent PCs with specials? By the way, all of this is distracting me from my comet dodging duties. Oh boy. I'm in the deliberation deck. Answer the question on your device. If you don't see a question on your device, that means either you're an alien or you got hacked, so just get- Here's the correct prompt. Every time you eat cheese, you destroy a small, sentient universe. You must. Do uh, you know Nick. the answer seems suspicious? <laughs> Yeah, but they could be like small humans. They didn't say bacteria specifically. 
We're on the clock here, people. It's so small, let's keep going. Small skin universe. Who the fuck did anything about that? Why can't emergencies have calm alarms and soothing noises? That's it. That's Captain. I'm hitting the kill. Oh. Yeah, I'm sorry. Ugh. I think I know who it is. Welcome to the extraction room. Since you were the one to push the button. <laughs> This is our first time here. Alright, who do you think are the aliens? There's two of them, by the way. Jimmy! Who do you pick? Bye-bye! Sorry, M. Page. You were acting hey, suspicious and decent. Honestly, I think I'm gonna live. Now, the non isolated. There you go. Uh, okay, time to vote. Everyone, wait, everyone has to vote. The vote. If everybody votes yes, then. The vote has failed. Do. No. All you can do is keep testing until you can all agree. Okay, next You captain? betrayers! He's gonna kill us again! Let's see if you'll get it right this time. If someone else puts the planet. Who are they picking? Isolate. Nick. Get one minute, so act quickly. What'd you do? And you got you two are very everybody else has to agree. Nick, you're gonna. You're gonna. <laughs> I'm just gonna buy it. C Dex says no. Oh, wait, no, oh God. C Dex says yes. Alright. This is all uh, your fault. This is all 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 your fault. You ruined it. You ruined it. You ruined it. You ruined it. I want to get an <laughs> Alright, I think we can start our next game. Okay, I'll shut this down. Uh, Whoa. Hey, do some... Oh, shit! Uh... There you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. I, 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 there's, it's up, it's up. Okay. Alright, what's the next game? Split the room, <laughs> which I have up right now. Split the room. Ugh. Perfect. Nick, you ruined that last <laughs> one for me. I could have got, I could have won it for us if you didn't, if you didn't, if you guys didn't vote. <laughs> I will admit, I will admit, like, like, Nick had the right call, but T Deck was the one that voted no, so. <laughs> that means you're on my chopping block next time we play a game. <laughs> That's your room code, everyone. CFC. Good thing it's not the FCC. <laughs> that was. That was. <laughs> Waiting for T-Dag. There we go, five players. Get ready, my secret girl. Now, you will not be startled. I am here to guide you as we explore the deepest recesses of your mind. You will build strange and complex worlds using only your imagination. Uh, did Nick Master play this before? I don't think so. I don't think he did. This a YouTube ad, ad, a YouTube ad with Jackbox games and includes that cats. 
Yeah. Yep. Meow. All right, so you have to fill the prompts in such a way that an equal number of people vote yes as people vote no. Like, don't make it a landslide decision. Make it tricky. Okay, it's time to build some strange worlds. You get it. I don't need to but it can only talk about the last few practices. I'm playing very interesting. Chapter one. So if you watch your parents have sex to give birth to you, you gain the ability to wake up at seven PM. Do you do it? Huh, that depends if if I really wanted to have like a night watch job. I mean, those things can those things pay good money. But then again, I wouldn't be able to watch Everybody anything in the day. Uh, Still waiting on ticks. Okay. Ten seconds. Decent voted yes. Everyone else voted no. That's a one-three split. You got some points. Since we took so long, you get more points. Chapter 2, Bam, but not forgotten. The government has outlawed yes. A friend introduced you to the black market. Do you risk significant jail time in order to get yes? I'm going to guess this is Nick's prompt, and he totally misunderstood it again. Oh, Don't worry, Nick. I I just I didn't understand the game first time. You got a super. That's why I said that. But yes. Um. Are you willing to sacrifice your life to say yes, or are you willing just to talk? I've seen so many comments that say yes. Um, chapter three, face talkers. The Unicode Consortium wants to make your face into an emoji. You'll be often recognized and you can earn a living on brand deals, but your emoji will be used to mean depression. You're, um, you, you'll be made into an emoji and be famous, but your emoji means depression. Huh. Nope. No spread. Everybody, no, everybody no. said yes. Ah, uh, I thought that would cause a little more controversy. <laughs> I swear, and I thought it would. Pets, pee. You get a dog for your kids. After yeah, Jake's got They gain the ability to speak, but they can only talk about pro-Trump propaganda. He promises to stop telling if you can convert your home office into a playroom. Do you do it? <sighs> So, will you convert your office into the dog's playroom so she'll stop talking about pro-Trump propaganda? A one three split, Bernard, no split. Okay. Woo! Yeah, this is why. Well, it's funny that I did worse at this this round than Nick. So, 
Sorry, you'll do better soon. One last wish is the next chapter. On your deathbed, your grandmother offers you a painting that's been in her family for generations. It depicts a dick. Her last words. <laughs> Please hey. put something in your living room. Original. I think I just wrote the wrong answer. Yeah, you have some points. I have Christian relatives. <laughs> okay, that's round one. All right. All right, for the next prop, Nick, you don't write yes or no. You fill in the blank with something that'll make us say yes or no. Yeah, I'm surprised you got more than me. What do you think of the stream, Decent? It's, it was actually pretty good. I mean, I mean, there were some hiccups here and there, but I mean, it was it was smooth. It was smooth. <laughs> Poor. What the hell is wrong with this cat? He's act he acts weird in this in menu, <laughs> menu loading screen. Uh, Just cut it off. Hey. In the loading screen side now. Looks like it's up all night. I can pop Mine was a junker. Page one, six. Page one results. Sorry, mine sucks. Your online has been compromised by your nemesis. Now when you Google your name, the first result is a link that says you jack it to cars. Name Townsend and he'll remove it. Do you? Um, no, that's not worth my money. How did he know my secret? Oh. So you get high on the movie cars? Uh, yeah. I'll get I'll get horny to anything except for golden showers and <gasps> No, no split. I thought that was all yes. I thought that was all yes. But apparently it's in the other direction. It's never just lunch. <laughs> seven, it's never just lunch. You have lunch with anything you from history. You can have lunch with any figure from history, but during lunch, you must consume an entire heaping plate of turkey with gravy and hot cheese. Oh. Is it worth it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hot Cheetos mm. almost threw me off, but it's fucking, I'll eat it, I guess. I like turkey. <laughs> that was a one three. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Up next is a clean conscious. Oh, clean conscious. One day, a couple of men in suits. One day, a couple of men in suits through your door. They offer you five hundred dollars for your old robot. Jackie reveals it can speak and says, "I want to swap eyes with your sexy mom. Do you keep it?" Mm, that's a tough one. Having your, having your, how about your vacuum being your mother? I guess the vacuum as your mother would technically suck it, but then your mother would be a cleaning supply. Woo! Okay. That's a one three. You got some points for that. Yes, ready. Next uh, mm -hmm. chapter. Chaos, Chaos theory. There is one day a year when there is one day a year. Kind of like when when on this day, you stay locked up in your house, but you know she's completely out of food. Do you order delivery? Uh, uh, <laughs> that kind of sounds hot. Honestly, like, you have to give someone a blowjob if you can't afford something. <laughs> uh, 
for no one level of job. No, you kick him in the nuts. Yeah. Once you. Before. So you can grab the food and then kick him in the nuts. Still waiting on Nick. Ten seconds. Okay, everyone's in. Okay. Three, two, one! Not what I expected, but I'll take it anyway. Um. Mm. So the last one's next. Prepare for the disappointment. Eat by two of you. A pair of headphones allows you to understand animals. A pair of headphones allows you to understand animals. On the walk of the woods, you'll ever hear a rabbit calling you fat ass. Do you kick it? Do you? Ha! Okay, that's actually pretty good. I'll give you that. I'll give you that one. Honestly, yeah. honestly I'd rather study it. What's in three? Sorry, Nick. Well, at least it's at some point, have it. Where's everybody, everyone? Mm -hmm. Nick's still winning. Oh, I'm barely fourth place. And the, and, uh, um, Everyone will be presented with two, uh, scenarios with two doors. They provide the first door. You have to provide the second door. And you, and remember, you still have to split the room. Mm. Okay, so they gave you one option. You have to fill in the second. Nick, you got a super split. But only because I didn't press my button in time. Stand in for the crack. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Next prompt. You're a high school principal. Due to an incident, you have to change to a pair of sweatpants were lost and found in. There's a pair that says succulent booty and a pair that says which one do you wear as you leave? The one that says succulent booty or the one that says there's comments. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Sweat, <laughs> T-Dad, holy crap. And you got them right. 
So I'm never gonna win. Or I can win. Yes! Yes! And you predicted me correctly. <laughs> Down to this. That's the end. Here we are. Who, who comes out on top? Nick! Uh, Nick won! No! No, 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 just like an earwax. It's earwax all over again. It, it's basically Woo! earwax. It's drunk, I guess, but it's got no thumbs. Can't believe you're alone. Alright, you guys want to play again or just go to the Yu-Gi-Oh? Go to the Yu-Gi-Oh. The final. Because it's going to take a while to set up stuff, you know. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do the Yu-Gi-Oh. So, the following contest is scheduled, is scheduled for one fall, and it's a battle for revenge. It's a battle for supremacy. Alright, okay, so... Alright, the way they do lobbies in this game, Tix, is I have to set up the room on the website, and then once I set it up, I can give you a link to click. Yeah. Okay, got it. <clears throat> uh, it's I... just like Uno. <clears throat> since the last rock, since one of the previous rock episodes, Tix wanted to face Rock Button and Pokemon Showdown, and that ended in such a fast manslaughter. Just a fast match, but since, but since Tix since, since Tix wanted his um his own favorite thing of his side, Rockbot is now gonna do his own favorite thing of his side. And that's Yu-Gi-Oh. That's way fun. Woohoo! Okay, so we go to the build zone, show the games, post a game, mm -hmm. private game, match with the latest rules, no banned cards. The maximum time limits. I'll allow broken decks. Okay. Okay. So we'll do best two out of three. What about Just three? Like, yeah, that's what I two said it to is two out of three. All right. Yeah. It's scheduled for two out of three. All right, uh, ticks and only ticks. Click this. Yeah, I remember when Ace used to click on the links, even though he wasn't planning to be in the matches. If you guys remember. Mm, yeah. Right. I'm ready. All right. Anyone's gonna screen share? Uh, Rockbot, right, are you gonna uh, screen share uh, or ticks? The red button. Okay, I'm ready. Alright, so the first thing we do is we play rock, paper, scissors to see who goes first. Who's gonna screen share? Okay. Who should screen who's gonna screen share? Uh you right, takes you get to choose. Do you wanna go first or second? First. Mm. Right, you're going first. Alright, anyone gonna screen share is it ticks or rampage? Alright, I should put I right who's uh I'll screen share it, I guess. Okay, who? Okay, who do I put on first? Okay, oh. um... Oops. You just ended your turn. Pseudo Ancient Gearbox Machine King Syndrome. Um, don't tell me the cards in your hands. Uh. Okay. I I don't click anything. I'm gonna tell you what you I'm gonna tell you what you should see. Some of the cards are orange, right? Yeah. Those are monsters. Those are monsters. If you look at the card, notice how many stars they have. That's their level. You can summon any monster from the from the beginning of the game. You can summon monsters that are level four or less. Summon. So, um... Okay, I moved one. Okay. Alright. Um, you can only summon one monster per turn. 
Uh, now let's do a fight. Click BP. Um, command your, uh, click your monster and click attack. He'll attack me and I take damage for it. Okay. Alright, uh, now, you can, you can either go to MP2 and I can tell you about the other cards, or go to EP and it's my turn. Okay, we'll go to MP2. Let's okay, try. green cards are spell cards. It depends on... The green cards are spell cards. That means you can activate them and make things happen if you meet the requirements. Okay. Pink cards are trap cards. You set them face down, and then when the timing's right, you can flip them over and do other things. Okay. Okay. You that was a that was a field card. Uh. <sighs> Since okay. that was a spell card, you can't flip it over till your next turn. Mm -hmm. okay, right. I'll take my turn now. Uh, I will summon... What do I want to summon here? God, that, that is a powerful monster to have in the turn. I am fucking jealous. Uh, I'll summon this guy. And he has an effect, so I will activate the effect. This lets me take one of the cards in my deck and send it straight to my graveyard. And then I'll stop there. Mm. Alright, now that it's your turn again, you can summon another monster. If a monster is leveled 5 or 6, you can you can summon it by getting rid of the monster you have. Or you can just summon one of those. Okay. Anyway, since I have a monster... If you want to attack me, you have to attack with a monster that can beat my monster so that you can get rid of it. The first number is what you're looking at. <laughs> so, if you want to go to the battle phase, you can do that. Alright. So, pick the monster that's stronger than my monster, then click on my monster to attack it. Okay. Uh, that was backwards. Uh, Try the other one. Oh. There you go, you did it. Sure. Oh, oh wait, he's doing a thing? Let me see the thing. Uh, when this is going to about the grammar, he gains a counter. Okay, so now he has one counter. Okay, now your turn. Okay. Alright, um, I will play this spell card. Yes. Now, I can. Alright, now I'm going to teach you another thing that you can do with a monster. You can set a monster, and it looks like this. Now you don't know what its defense is, but you know you have to beat it to uh, get fat. What? You just click the forfeit button. Duh! I guess I win. Okay. So right, you just you won. Just click the next round button. All right. Um, who goes first for the second? Oh, you go. Go go second. So we'll just call that your right, win. Good. So one more win okay. and. M page right. wins. Right. Right. Uh. This is how you play a field card. <laughs> and I'll play this. And that's all I got. Okay. Alright, that means you can look through your deck and find a field card. You just found one. And now it's in your hands. You can play it now if you want. Okay. Oh, that's a new one. Okay, that's a continuous card. That means it stays there forever until I destroy it. Okay. 
kind of looks uh. a fire emblem to me. Uh, you don't have any monsters, so you can't attack me. Uh. I will set a monster. And that's it. That was your card that did that. Okay. Anyway, monsters. You can summon monsters if they're four stars or less, like you just did. All right. If you summon, yeah, take an ancient gear card from the deck and put them in your hand, and you just did. All right. Now you can move on to the battle phase if you want. Try to attack my monsters. See if you beat it. Come on now. Exit out. <laughs> Do you ex if you want to cancel, you can right click the mouse. Oh, you won that one. That not the not the game, but you won that battle. <sighs> okay, so you clearly have the stronger monster here. I'm scared now. And you have a nice field. Okay, uh, the field you just played gives lowers the tribute costs of your ancient gears. So if a monster is ancient gear in their name and they're level five or six, you can summon it for free. And if but if it's level seven, you can summon it by getting rid of one of your current monsters. Or level eight. Uh, level eight would mean you need to you need to get rid of two, but because you're field, you only have to get rid of one. Just level enough. Okay. We Anything move? above level seven requires two tribute, unless it's an ancient gear because you're field. All right. Wait, what are they? Okay, so you got rid of your monster and. Ah, that is huge. Okay, you can attack me now. Mm. All right, battle phase. Yeah, since I have no monsters, attacking will make them just come right at me, and I take the full blunt of it. Well, if I'm. Uh oh, yeah, that that's asking if I want to do anything. Um, I will not do anything. Mm. <laughs> Alright, so I took a hit. Now you can finish the turn or do something else. Whatever the fuck. Okay, the card's face down. Okay, if that was a green card, a spell card, you'll have to wait a turn to activate it. But if it's a pink card, a trap card, you can use it if I do something that sets it off. Mm. Oh, it's asking you if you want to do something. Oh, okay. The monster in your graveyard comes back now. Okay. Now it's asking if you want something else. Oh, okay, here we go. And then that triggers its effect. You can fetch another ancient gear card. Good for you. Now it's your turn. You're getting the hang of this. I knew it. So we might have a tiebreaker. Um, it goes right to the third game if you win here. Okay. Um. 
I'm not gonna make it too easy. My turtle has an effect when you kill it, which lets me summon something else, and I will summon this. Huh. And now it's too strong for your monster, so you might want to finish the turn. Unless you want to feel the heat. Mm. Why did you do that? Because I need to damage it. If I damage it now... Oh, it doesn't work that way. Because if you put pressure on the opponent, then you... Now I have two monsters. You can try attacking the other one, or you can try attacking the original one again, or you can just not attack at all. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, monsters don't get weakened in this game. You just have to have the higher number, and then the difference is taken out of the health So bar. you mean it's like chance? Like a dice roll? It's like... It's like you have to have the card... It's like you have to strategize. Like, like right now you have two monsters out that are, like, level four. <laughs> and, and you have to think, are their effects worth out, or you, or on your next turn you can swap them out for a higher level monster if you have one in your hand. Um, I have nothing. So wait, I, I'm, a, I, I'll actually do something. Since you're the one doing all the attacking, I'll just attack you this time with this. <laughs> That's another rule of Yu-Gi-Oh! What goes around comes around. Uh... uh bad mm. move. Yeah, like that... Yeah, that's not how that works. I told you twice already. That's not how it works. No. I win again. Okay, then Paige keeps the title. Oh, well then M Page wins. He gets That was just that was just an exhibition. Like, we can we can do this some more after the stream because nah, you clearly really have some more learning to do. Nah, I'm good. I sh that was wrong. I apologize for forcing you into showdown. So, we're even. Let's just say that. Fair enough. But you're but you're a good you opponent. Like you're a good opponent. It. It's fine. Let's yeah, like, you had me worried there for a moment. And yeah, you had me worried there for a moment. I thought you actually got good on... Yeah, I thought you actually became, like, the super friggin' champion all of a sudden. Um, but I do see great potential in you. I would love to, but you do see great potential... I do see great potential in you, Tix, and I would love to teach you some more someday. Yeah, and I'd love to teach you how to play Showdown. So all right. Can, so technically uh, we'll work we can... on that some other time. Um, yeah. Um, so and let's now. just leave this as hey. the vengeance me. Sure. Uh, uh, the stream's only an hour and a half long. All right. Uh, you don't know Jack is in pack five. The, the good one's in pack five. The bad one's in pack one. <sighs> All right. I'm just going to set my phone up again because I had no idea that this was going to work. Yep. I mean, I mean, it could have been long if it could have been long if Tix had read the rules, but like he, the fact that he came that close is actually is that actually makes me smile. That's because like I can pick up things real fast, but when I'm doing something right out of the gate, I have a tendency to come up on really strong and then just take a header. That 
that's a that's a yeah. that's a New England way of saying fall flat in your head and face and crack your head open. Yeah, that's why I was, that's why I was trying to say stop, stop, think of this. I'm a, and I'm gonna teach you this thing. You just kept on going. That's because sometimes I get let my competitive spirit run wild, and I start underthinking things and stop. My ears shot. You know, I got that. I got competitors' fever sometimes. Well, it looks like uh, my 5K player is having some issues. So I believe that. T- uh, yeah, I mean, but we should play a pack six game. Either, I packed six. Okay, why don't we play already? Joke boat. Uh, joke boat and role models. So, what shall we play? I got you. Role models. Yeah. Wait, did we play role models? Yeah, no mercy. Yeah, we played role models and no mercy. Let's see if vengeance oh. does it. Let's see if we can make it a good role models game. Alrighty. Um, where's... Alright, role models. Uh, that's, uh, who has Pack 6? I have Pack 6. Here we go again. I'm going to get something. Ooh. Uh, I remember role model. It's a science game. Let's play it. Hey, Nick, maybe we can play these with Andrew since I have them. <laughs> well, okay. Okay, so, uh. Yeah, we're all playing it. Looks like this. Yeah. Still got a half an hour left. You must be the guinea pigs I ordered. <laughs> Sign in with the room code and make That's sure to code. snap a selfie or draw yourself for our records. Oh, oh, accidentally exited out. It's okay. When you just, just, just open the room code again, you'll get back in. Yourself and after all, you yeah, you, that's so. Either draw or just take a snapshot. You can do it first. Okay, I, I think we're ready to go. Three, two, one. Welcome to role models. We're about to dissect your relationships, so I hope they're dead. Here at the lab, we've spent years searching for the genetic magic that makes each and every human a truly unique individual. But that was hard, so we found a shortcut. We theorize every friend group has some version of the smart one, the popular one, the troubled loner who I can change. You get the idea. And these roles make it a lot easier to figure people out with science. You guys are going to match your fellow test subjects to the roles that fit them best. 
My lovely assistant will put all the data into the tubes, and at the end, we'll crunch the numbers and tell each of you who you really are. Now, nobody here is allergic to latex, right? Never mind, let's do this. <laughs> Vote for a category to get us started. Ideally, something everyone knows a little bit about. Hey, Nick, fix right, something. Okay. Everybody press the menu when you lock in. Children's book love life. Let's Which see. children's book describes your love life? So, on the names of your fellow lab rats. Drag each one to the role you think fits them best. That includes yourself. Oh, and you'll see a little 99% sign next to each role. Tap that to lock in the answer you're 99% <laughs> certain will match what everyone else picks. I'll make it worth your while if you're right, so make sure to pick someone. When everyone's given out their roles, we'll check out the results. <laughs> Let's see that data. Okay. Let's see the votes. Take away the outliers. That's our winner. Yippee! I like to reward my lab rats for positive behavior, so I'll give you guys these nutritious science pellets. Whenever your answers match the group, whoever has the most at the end is my lab rat of the month. Plus, they keep your pelt shiny. If I'm counting right, that's a tie. Time for another test to see who gets this roll. Type an answer on your device. Your decide whether you get the roll. Even if you're not sure you want the roll, I'm handing out science pellets to the winner, so do your best. It's an experiment, man. You think Schrodinger's cat always wants to get in the box? Here it is. Vote on your devices now. Who made I feel so much better now. Performing the best in this experiment is definitely worth a few science pellets. Don't say an everyday thing for you. How'd you know? Subjects yeah, already have a roll, don't need another one. So let's lose these votes. Yeah. Are tied. Let's fix that. Answer on your device. What are you yeah. hungry for right now? Uh, I can already see the sex jokes already. Vote on your devices now. A we on, please. Uh. That's that. Do you get the roll and some science pellets? <laughs> Pop on pop. Ooh, I love a tie. It means we get more <laughs> data. Why do I keep getting it wrong? Why do I keep getting it wrong? Tiebreaker. Vote on your devices now. Whoever wins gets the roll.
I wish you was me or Tia. We were all thinking the same thing on that one. Play D Dex off on Bob. Where's one though? Yeah. Cross the elimination or where's one though? Here's who's who. And here's what we're doing on science pellets. Don't forget, you get those tasty pellets when your answers match the group, or you earn a role in a tiebreaker experiment. Keep that in mind if you want to be the lab rat of the month. I don't know. Sounds like a that sounds like a very okay, squeaky gag. I vote for her category. Yes. Really? Which slogan for a tasty treat are you? Okay, make those matches. And remember to tap the 99% button next to the combo you feel most strongly about. It's a rainbow. I love Skittles. Who's giving me a break? I've got just the thing to break this tie. Oh, no. Uh, well, so, go on your devices now. Who's the one next? Who needs the reason more? Eh. Yes. The results are in. Yeah. That means they can give you a break. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. That is a wild pack. How nice. Get it? Well, who am I argue with you about you? Here's our lineup. And by the way, you uh, are freaking me out with these predictions. Get out of everyone's heads. Again, with the falling in last. Okay, we've got some solid info on each of you. Now let's run the numbers and see if anything interesting pops up. You guys, your not rules tell me you share a common characteristic. We're not I common. Not knowing who's better. Funny. What's Artistic uh, flourish, what do you add to the Mona funny. Lisa? Answer the prompt Beautiful. on your devices, and we'll settle this once and for all. What single artistic flourish would you add to the Mona Lisa? Both of you write your answers, and the rest of us will use those to determine your answers. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's the raw data. Vote on your devices now. <laughs> the process works. Double! is funny. You two, your rules tell me you've got something in common. <laughs> which is cute and all, but there can be one. Wild card. You just hey, I'm Laurel. Yep. Hey, Chase, look, it's your usual. What do you do? 
hooked on your devices, and we'll nice. settle this once and for all. Okay. Just look at our watch our for the Okay. No! Uh, accidentally hit enter. There you go. Oh well. <laughs> Vote on your devices now. I swear, if Decent wins another one, I'm. I swear, I'll go insane. Yeah. Over we call that a shutout. Yes. The real answer is the real answer. Okay, what will our last category be? Next category. Oh, hi, Michael. It's me, Alice, here. It's anonymous. It's unanimous. Oh, hi, I'm Elmo. Which Sesame Street character fits each of you best? Don't overthink this. Well, one of them's obvious. <laughs> I <laughs> Let's see who's who. Who's Elmo? What? Piggy Deck is Elmo. And your 99% guess was 100% right. Who's that? Uh, obvious. Who's Big Bird? Ooh, a tie. Let's see. I don't know. Enter your answer on your. Who's cooking monster? Hey, Big Man Cooker. Who's cat on the ground? Big Cat on the Ah ah ah. Here's where we ended up. Woo! One last thing before we close the book on this experiment. Let's see if there are any more interesting patterns in those rolls. Huh. Based on your rolls, your total opposites. From a very specific point of view, anyway. We're not leaving here until we find out which of you is better at being you. If you lived in Westeros, what would you name your sword? Both of you to write an answer that fits the trait above your head. The others will decide who did the best. I don't think Tonyo's aggressive. He always seems so late. Yeah. Tonyo. Because Tonyo always seems so laid back. <laughs> Orion's the most aggressive one this week. That's what they came up with. Vote on your devices now. 
Who's dancer matches the character with her train? I just picked the funnier one. I don't know. I guess I'm the bigger sweetheart. I can tell from your roles, you two are complete opposites. <laughs> if you look at the data a certain way, that is. We're gonna pit you against each other and see who wins. What's the best way to get to know your neighbors? Type an answer on your device. All right, this is what we got. Vote on your devices now. Right, does mine make more friendly or does it make it more friendly? Just as I hypothesized. Ugh. Again. The bigger crew. And that's the that end. That was the final of piece that. of the puzzle. Get ready hey. for your final rolls, as determined by everything your fellow subjects said about you. Nick. Overwhelmed vampire. Overwhelmed vampire. Do you think of a surprise going to be Chickster? I heard. And our winning lab rat with the most total science pellets is. Not so friendly. Curious. Oh. Oh. All right, song ticks. Go to um. Choke boat. Okay. I mean, it's almost two hours in. You sure? Yes, yes. Alright, we're gonna be playing some joke boats to end the stream. Okay, one more game, Nick. Alright. Yeah, Nick, maybe we can show Andrew these games. Alright, get back. I'm playing joke boats, so it's the back button. No, you started rolling miles again. Hit ESC. ESC. Yeah. He knows what he's doing. Doing pretty All right, good. Alright, now slide Joke Boat when those things are. Oh, I remember Joke Boat. That was irritating. Okay. Alright, in this one, we're trying to get the Joke Boat. Welcome Wait. aboard! You must be the talent! Please sign in! Oh, I'm a ventriloquist doomy. I look like that zombie from Ghostbusters. From, from Goosebumps, I'm a... a Goosebumps, I'm a... We don't have oh, look at the bubbles. Yeah. Six your character's hot. Six your character is pretty hot. Okay. Alright, everybody's in. Last and eight. We don't have all day. Yeah, but I'm really getting these vibes from this game. Ugh, that was a show. Here we go. Gather round, comedians. Here's tonight's itinerary. We're gonna write some jokes and then test them out on stage. But first things first, it's brainstorming time. Before we jump into the jokes, let's do a little writing exercise to get inspired. On your device, you'll be prompted like animals, people, or objects. Fill in whatever you think has a lot of comedic potential. If another player uses one of your topics in a winning joke, you'll get some bonus points. Generate as many as you can. You have 45 seconds, starting now.
This writing exercise is ending soon. All right, to finish. Follow the steps on your device to construct two right. hilarious jokes. Move on to your second joke soon. The last time I saw this many grins, I was surrounded by sharks. I lost my brother in the madness, but who needs family when you have our first comedian? Canadians. All right, Sam, are you presenting it or <clears throat> presenting? Don't forget your catchphrase. All righty. Have you heard about the Himalayan salt lamp challenge? That's where you lick the lamp and shove it up your ugly ass. <laughs> Give me a shoehorn. Give me a shoehorn. <laughs> you ever notice how Dora the whore looks like? <laughs> Ugly horror. Okay. <laughs> okay then. <laughs> Nice job, you two. Judges, what do you think? Uh, it froze again, Six. Oh, it's fine. sorry. Uh, just, I think, I, I, I don't think your favorite film. What? Come on. Hey, Decent, look. Shut up. <laughs> okay, up next. <laughs> <laughs> My nickname is Krispy Kreme because I'm hot and horny. <laughs> I like my Y'all like my kangaroo? <laughs> hey GH, I'll oh, kangaroo your roo. <laughs> When I was a kid, we didn't have musicals. We had SpongeBob. Which comedian told us the joke? That was so good. That was so good. Yeah, you can you take that one. You can have that one. Beautiful, yes. Get ready, you I know him, you love him, it's this person. Yeah. You're up again. I call my bedroom the cemetery. Because my dreams die in my sleep. <laughs> I mean, that sounds kind of like an actual, like, comedian joke. Uh-huh. So you don't give me credit for that. <clears throat> My doctor said I have a bad case of the cockies. Khakis. Because Corona wasn't fashionable enough. Hey. Ah. <laughs> oh. 
Ah. Lost to DSIM yet again. I didn't call you Joker 26. Keep that light smattering of applause. Yeah, going. believe it or not, that right, joke. Next up, you want to joke or do you want the game to read it? <laughs> My hometown's nickname is the Florida. <laughs> because I'm stupid. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, yeah. oh, decent. Well. Well, I'm probably not going to be much better. How many vampires does it take to screw the light bulb? Big light bulb, I mean. Three. One to screw it in. Did you drink drain the blood from his apple? <laughs> Oh. Let's keep it going for our next comic. Ooh, it's on yo. Alright. Right, here Middle go. school for me was like that page. When there was a bitch principal. <laughs> really? Uh, I don't get that. I, I don't get it. Well, you don't get it how middle school is. Right. We have we have, they have principals that are super horrible. <laughs> You <laughs> did I'll give him that. They're both terrible. That was the last round. Of course. Let's look at our starboard. That's a boat joke. My life is in shambles. Ugh. Woo! Oh, look. Whoa! Some of you are achieving comedy. We're outside. Wait, that's incredible. Hey, how many of you ever had that ever? That's a, that's a quick... Five data. Oh. <laughs> this is what you'll get, my secret front. <laughs> well, well, you've got the wind in your sails now. So let's write some more jokes. Halfway point stuck, then hit the joke for me button. I'm in. Oh, this is gonna be good. How about these comics, huh? Sure. They're killing harder than the virus going around our ship. Again, folks, uh, we're sorry for the inconvenience. Foreshadowing. Let's keep this was going. before Corona. <laughs> Hello, no. I think he wins. Give him all the points. Give the host all the points. Decent, you're up. <laughs> What's the difference between most people and frat guys? 
They're not watching this stream. Ah. Uh. <laughs> uh. Next up. Wanna read it? Why did the tricycle cross the road? He was too young to understand. What? Uh, I have several questions. Okay, judges, <laughs> render your ver hmm. What? Oh. How did- <laughs> How is that funnier? How is that funnier? Oh. I voted for you, Tom. Comic is ready to hit the stage. Oh. Thanks. Comedy's not my strong point. My doctor said I have a, a bad case of the bees. Because whenever I make a joke, my friends tell me to buzz off. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Um, yeah, right. it's, it's a pretty crappy one. I don't know why this person did these hey, dumb answers, but here they are. Alright. Who picked Nintendo Switch? Yeah. Whoever did that? I did. Are you fucking... <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? You worked with it. I'll give you credit for that. That's disgusting. These are two... These are both great jokes. These are both great. These are both great. No. Uh, oh my god, a landslide! <laughs> oh. Ugh, I think we know who the winner is. Folks, put your hand and hook together for Unless. <clears throat> Have you ever tried nachoing? Well, That's so... when you cheese for wins in orgy fights. <laughs> That's okay. something. I can do that one. Oh, no. Let's see how I do. Oh no. No, I can't. God. God created time travelers by creating sentient life from White House. Ugh, that's. That's disgusting. Come on. Fingers crossed. Cow, cow. Ish. Ooh, ticks. Oh. Go on. Yeah. I'll do that one. I'll do that one. Yeah. Good. To you. Want some more? Nacho got her. All right. Me and me. Look, my sick, my garlic bread. Just smells like. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, anyway. Okay. Here we go. My family is like Chris. Chris Chan, aka Awful. Uh, I thought you were gonna Either boy, that was good. That was good. Oh. Oh. Ow! How is Nick Ray's comic needs an introduction? All right, I'll perform this joke. I want to open a store that only sells chopsticks and call it my I want to get that come on your car latch pepper stick. <laughs> That's a little bit of a stretch. That makes, yeah. That's a lot of words. Why did you? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh my god! I am so sorry. This joke's not really that funny, but it makes sense. I'm so dumb that I thought theme parks were supposed to be open right now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yes! Yes! What? <laughs> How did- How did that win? How did that win? <laughs> I voted for you! Time to check the scoreboard! 
Okay, everyone. What? Uh, top is your last decent? I'm winning? How many did I win? Oh, no. Oh, I'm about to get sunk by a rubber duck. I'll win. Well, we're sinking again. There's no time to write jokes from scratch. So, here's the plan. Let's rewrite another... You'll use the same setup, but we'll attempt to write a funnier punchline. The better the original joke did, the more points you'll earn for beating it. Can you steal the spotlight before the boat sinks? We promised you an evening of titanic proportions. And for that, we are very sorry. Let's hold it back in our comments. Alright, next guys. We love Ew. Okay. Which version do you like best? Alright, who did better? Who did better? Him or the original guy? That's kind of my secret grudge. Oh. He said. Yeah. It's not the better. Wow. I'm above. <laughs> when I was a kid, we didn't have musicals. We had drunk karaoke. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, come on. We all have to agree on something. Ah. Oh. I want to agree this. Uh, you are at Weak. Totally Nick, wanna vote? Four, three. Oh! Why do you keep winning? <laughs> <laughs> I <guess> so. <laughs> right, here I go. Here we go. Why did the truck go across the road? Because he was suffering from tripolar syndrome. That's actually slightly better, but not good. Come <laughs> on. Yes! <gasps> Alright. Mine kind of sucks. You ever notice how the world we explore looks like? <laughs> Six man, the football hitter? What? <laughs> <laughs> I hate football, and I never take- I try not to take a hair. Uh, <laughs> Nick, one That's vote. so cruel. That's cruel, and you know it. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Don't go! 
don't know why. Come <laughs> on. Let's see who's gonna be in the last available lifeboat. Well, no suck change. my balls. Decent's last? What? Yeah, what? Yeah. It's oh two in a row, God. Nick. Alright. All right. Let's end it. Let's um close the window. Go screen 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 share yours. Please stand by. Alright. Got it. Alright. Alright. Thanks for watching the stream. Was way too funny. This was fun. Everyone, this was fun. This was a lot more fun than I expected. I can safely say that YRC live streams are now back on track. This is way. What, what do you what do you expect this? You think this is better than um last year's vengeance, where it had more people, or you think that last year's vengeance? Yeah, was this. Uh, this, is... this this year's vengeance was a hell of a lot better than last year's. This oh. is an A stream for sure. I give it right. an A plus. Right. This is about as good as Great American Batch. All right, um, yes, go watch Raw this Monday. It'll be fun. Yep. And also, go ahead. Oh, uh, oh, wait, we still rolling? Yes. I'm oh, sorry, right. I could, I'll say it afterwards. All right, so yeah, go subscribe to the channel, leave a like and subscribe. And next time is the biggest party of the summer. Summer, summer Slam. Slam. August 15th. Woo! Bye. Bye. So look up for that. All right. Bye. I don't want to say goodbye. Want to say goodbye, page Sayonara. See ya. Bye.